For the first time in history, NASA astronauts have launched from American soil in a commercially built and operated American crew spacecraft on its way to the International Space Station. The SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft carrying NASA astronauts Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley lifted off on the company's Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Known as NASA's SpaceX Demo-2, the mission is an end-to-end -end test flight to validate the SpaceX crew transportation system, including launch, in-orbit, docking, and landing operations. This is SpaceX's second spaceflight test of its Crew Dragon and its first test with astronauts aboard, which will pave the way for its certification for regular crew flights to the station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. This is a dream come true for me and everyone at SpaceX. It is the culmination of an incredible amount of work by the SpaceX team, by NASA, and by a number of other partners in the process of making this happen. You can look at this as the results of a hundred thousand people, roughly, when you add up all the suppliers and everyone working incredibly hard to make this day happen, said Elon Musk, chief engineer at SpaceX. Since that fateful flight, the SpaceX Crew Dragon overwhelmed the entire space industry, especially Russia. And in today's episode of Great SpaceX, we're going to show you what SpaceX's Crew Dragon just did to change everything. In 2014, NASA awarded Boeing a $4.2 billion contract to build the Starliner, while SpaceX won a $2.6 billion contract to build the Crew Dragon spacecraft. The goal was to re-establish U.S. human spaceflight capability in the wake of the Space Shuttle's 2011 retirement, ending NASA's sole reliance on Russia for astronaut ferry flights to the space station. After six years of development, SpaceX fulfilled the target by ways of the Demo-2 launch on Saturday, May 30th of 2020, officially becoming the Game Changer for NASA. For now, while Boeing has yet to launch any crew mission by its Starliner, SpaceX's 21st century spaceship has launched seven crewed missions to date, including two for private astronauts. The Crew Dragon, which can be adapted to carry up to seven astronauts, launched four people to the ISS on its first fully operational mission, Crew-1, on November 15th of 2020. This marked the first NASA-certified commercial human spacecraft system in history. As a quick note, due to a string of issues that have caused years of delays for Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, which was developed simultaneously alongside SpaceX's Crew Dragon as part of the NASA Commercial Crew Program, SpaceX has been tasked with continuously ensuring the presence of NASA astronauts at the ISS since November of 2020. On April 23rd of 2021, a Crew Dragon spacecraft holding NASA's SpaceX Crew 2 astronauts launched aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. This marked the second commercial crew rotation mission aboard the ISS. On September 15th of 2021, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket made history by launching a Crew Dragon spacecraft on the first all-private, all-civilian orbital mission. The mission, known as Inspiration4, was privately chartered by billionaire Jared Isaacman and raised awareness and funds for St. Jude's Research Hospital. Isaacman's companions included geoscientist and science communication specialist Sian Proctor, physician assistant Haley Arsenault, and data engineer Christopher Sembrowski. The crew orbited Earth for a total of three days. The mission was seen as a resounding success and a giant leap for space tourism, as the offerings from Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic only take customers to suborbital space for less than half an hour. Two months later, Crew-3 launched on November 11th of 2021 with the 600th astronaut to reach space since human spaceflight began in 1961. During Crew-3's stay aboard the ISS, Russia conducted a missile test that sent debris flying through orbit. The Crew-3 astronauts later said they weren't scared of a potential impact, though they did have to take shelter in a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft as a precaution. The Crew-4 mission lifted off on April 27th of 2022, launching Jessica Watkins, the first African-American woman to join a long-duration mission aboard the ISS, and the ESA's Samantha Cristoforetti, the first European woman to assume command of ISS operations. Crew-4 was SpaceX's shortest flight to the ISS, clocking in at a total of 15 hours and 45 minutes. 
Crew Dragon's record streak continues as SpaceX launches its first private mission to the ISS. Following a string of delays from late 2021 to February and March of 2022 and the first week of April of 2022, Axiom-1 lifted off as planned on April 8th of 2022, successfully carrying four private astronauts into low Earth orbit. The mission's Falcon 9 rocket performed exactly as has come to be expected, upholding its growing reputation as the most reliable orbital class rocket ever launched. Axiom-1 was the Falcon family's 122nd successful launch in a row, a record that no other rocket in history has achieved. Simultaneously, Falcon 9 booster B-1062, flying for a record fifth time, also stuck the landing aboard the drone ship A Shortfall of Gravitas, or ASOG, marking the Falcon family's 39th consecutive successful landing. Axiom-1's Crew Dragon spacecraft has also set its own human spaceflight record, becoming the first crewed space capsule in history to launch astronauts three times. Prior to Axe 1, Crew Dragon Endeavour Capsule C206 aced Demo 2, SpaceX's inaugural astronaut launch and landing in May and August of 2020, and supported Crew 2, SpaceX's second operational crew launch and recovery in April and November of 2021. While completing those two prior missions, Dragon C-206 spent 263 days in orbit. Regardless of these achievements, per a March quote given to Reuters by SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell, SpaceX will stop producing Crew Dragon spacecrafts and release resources that could be used, shifting their focus towards Starship development. However, Shotwell also indicated that SpaceX would preserve the ability to restart Dragon production if the need arose. And according to the latest update, SpaceX and NASA have settled on October 3rd for the company's fifth operational astronaut launch, a mission that will also mark the first time a Russian cosmonaut flies on Crew Dragon. This launch, also known as Crew 5, will be SpaceX's eighth astronaut launch overall, seventh astronaut mission to the space station, and the sixth astronaut transport transport mission for NASA. Once docked to the ISS, Crew-5 will take over from Crew-4, who will depart the station soon after in their own Crew Dragon and return to Earth sometime in October. While SpaceX is busy preparing for the upcoming launch, Boeing's first crewed Starliner flight test, or CFT, equivalent to Crew Dragon's May 2020 Demo-2 mission, is now scheduled to launch no earlier than February of 2023. That means SpaceX is guaranteed to be NASA's sole path to the ISS until the third quarter or fourth of 2023, but that period could easily stretch into 2024 if Boeing runs into any additional issues with Starliner over the next year. In the meantime, with all these milestones, the SpaceX Crew Dragon definitely deserves to be considered a game changer. And that's about it for today's episode. We thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.